Once upon a time, in the enchanted forest of Whispering Grove, there lived a wicked fairy godfather named Morgrim. His heart was consumed by darkness, and he had driven all the animals out of the forest with his malevolent powers. The once vibrant woodland was now a desolate place, where fear and despair reigned. The birds fluttered anxiously on the outskirts of the forest, while the critters cowered in hidden burrows, unable to return to their beloved home. The animals longed for someone brave enough to stand against the wicked fairy and restore peace to their once happy abode. One fateful morning, as the sun's gentle rays painted the sky, and the breeze whispered a melody of hope, the animals gathered in a small clearing to discuss their plight. Who among us is willing to confront the wicked fairy godfather and free our forest from his clutches? The mongoose asked, his voice tinged with urgency. Silence fell upon the assembly, and fear gripped the hearts of the creatures. None dared to respond, and none felt capable of taking on such a perilous task. But then, a small, frail voice broke the silence. I'll go, said a courageous squirrel named Hazel, her eyes shining with determination. Gasps of surprise rippled through the gathering. But you are too small, said a skeptical firefly named Lumina, her wings shimmering doubtfully. You have no chance against Morgrim. This is not a child's game. The firefly laughed dismissively. Hazel remained steadfast, her voice resolute. Do not underestimate me. I may be small in stature, but I carry within me the strength of unwavering conviction. The animals debated among themselves, unsure whether to entrust such a perilous journey to a young and seemingly vulnerable squirrel. Doubt lingered in their minds, but Hazel's unwavering spirit touched their hearts. Reluctantly, they agreed to send the small creature on the dangerous quest. Before her departure, the animals presented her with tokens of their faith. The wise mule bestowed upon her a special sword, passed down through generations. The compassionate rabbit offered a ring that would protect her from fear. The united creatures formed a circle, clasping paws and wings and prayed for Hazel's safety. The firefly gifted her a shining charm for protection. Grateful but steadfast, Hazel declined the offerings. I appreciate your kindness, but I already possess the most potent weapons, faith, bravery, and the support of my friends. And so, with the blessings of her fellow creatures and her heart brimming with courage, Hazel set forth on her perilous journey to Creek Forest, where the wicked fairy godfather held dominion. Through treacherous terrain and dense thickets, Hazel pressed on, undeterred by the eerie silence that hung in the air. Eventually, she arrived at a towering hill, where a foreboding sign proclaimed, Welcome to Creek Forest, where no one is allowed to enter. The very leaves of the forest seemed to come alive, swirling and dancing around Hazel, their voices filled with menace. You shall not pass. This forest belongs to Morgrim alone. Prepare to meet your doom. Undeterred, Hazel stood her ground, her tiny form trembling but her spirit unyielding. The leaves intensified their whirlwind assault. But Hazel, with unwavering resolve, began to whistle a tune that echoed through the forest. Watch out for part two.